It's our last few days in Belize as we sail to Lark Key. We have the island pretty much to ourselves, so it was a relaxing spot. In the morning, we do some paddle boarding for packing up and heading to Placencia for one more night on the boat. And after two weeks in Belize, it was time to head home. We had spent the night on a mooring ball in front of King Louis. How was your night here in front of King Louis again? It was great. Slept like a baby. Yeah, it was a nice sleep. Uh, we had the island again to ourselves. Nobody there. Which, you know, I mean, it's low season, so, like, I get it. There were some people there for lunch, though. And last time we were here, there were probably, you know, seven or eight people for lunch as well. I imagine in high season, might be 30 or 40 people on there. But they're asking a lot of money for that place. We kind of did the math on it. They would have to, honestly, they would have to profit $500,000 to $600,000 a year to make it worth buying that place. Which... I mean, maybe, but I doubt it. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty small. I don't know anything about islands, but. <laughs> so we want to put the uh, Sailing Doodles uh, bar and marina in, but I don't know, we'll see. I'd have to make a little, I don't know. I'd have to look at the books. <laughs> maybe, maybe I'll look into it and see what we can do. But I still want to do one of those one day. I'd prefer to do it in the Bahamas though. Have like a yeah. bar and marina in the Bahamas. Yeah. But. A little easier for people to get there. Huh? Yeah, yeah, you'd probably have more traffic going there. I mean, it gets, it's, it's busy here too. It's just, you know, the Bahamas is a little bit busier. But it's also harder to probably get to get anything done there. Yeah. Anyway, all right, today we are, so, I mean, hey, maybe one day we'll get some investors going and, and do it, but we'll see. All right, so today we're going to head over by Lark Key. Um, I've anchored there once before, like a couple years ago. Not much going on. There is a new private island nearby called Ivan's Island. We'll check it out if they're open. Problem is, it's low season. A lot of the stuff is not open. Fine with me. I don't care what we do. All right. Well, <laughs> it's not very far. Let's go. Can't hold a camera and pull a line through. So she's got making excuses. Out. Oh yeah. All right. Trying to put me to work. Yeah, put her to work. I gotta drive the boat before we drift into the reef. Two knots of breeze. Yeah, I can feel that. Yeah, a little <laughs> warm. Well, we're going almost the same speed as the wind, so we're doing, sorry, we're doing all five and a half knots and there's one knot of breeze is what it's showing, so there's probably six knots of breeze. Anyway, uh, so, yeah, motoring again today. I guess that's what Belize stands for, motoring every day. It doesn't work. That's the med. Okay, anyway. It goes up and it goes down. I know my we weren't sailing, but it was still nice to be out on the water. Well, we're only going another six miles right down there to uh, Lark Key and maybe Ivan's Island. I don't know. We'll see. Before the clock runs out. Well, I just saw it hit 0.0. .0. Yep, there it is. But 0.1 knots is the apparent wind, so there's absolutely no breeze to us right now. I can feel that. Yeah, it's a little warm, but we got like a little over five miles to go. All right, so yeah, I don't think there's any place to anchor here because it, we're still in 70 feet of water right now. And like that's how close the shoreline is so it's just gonna be a wall so there's no place to anchor here so we're gonna go over here in front of lark key where i've anchored before it's been a while but should be able to anchor over there uh maybe we just dingy back over i don't know if there's anybody there at the place or not but we can check it out whatever doesn't hurt it most of these resorts are around here are all new from when i was here last two years ago looks like there's a mooring ball up here and go check it out maybe see if it's marked private or whatever i don't know sometime i don't know go there and look at it all right, well, I believe it's a public ball. Max 60 feet, it's got a phone number you call, says Belize Port. So let me set up the uh, lines to catch mooring and there you go. So the ball looks in decent shape, uh, but there's a lot of growth on the on the mooring line underneath. So I'm gonna back down a little, just see what happens, make sure. I'm not gonna, not too much to, but you know, if a big blow came, just to simulate that. Friends are nearby, don't need another view. Time is not on my mind, but then it's you. Oh, I love it when the love comes all right so now i give about 13 1400 rpm and we're not moving so i think it's pretty solid so we're here but i'm not gonna wake up wake up I'm there's not much going on at lark key but it's a pretty chill place to spend a night up, wake up. and a short dinghy right away is ivan's I don't know if that Ivan place is open or not. I'll try to call him and maybe do lunch. If not, we'll cook some lunch on the boat and just kind of chill out. What you think? 
about what? I don't know. Here? Yeah. It's cool. It's quiet. Doesn't seem to be much going on. <laughs> well, it's kind of Belize in the low season. But all right, shut these things down. I'm not gonna wake up. Well, uh, just got a phone with them. The bar's open, but they don't have any food, so. So uh, what do you want to eat? I don't know. What do we got? Um, we have turkey for sandwiches. How is that turkey? We haven't even opened it yet, have we? I don't know. We still have bread. It's not opened. So. All right, let's let's do sandwiches. <laughs> I don't remember what it's called. <laughs> You don't know the name of the place we're going? No. <laughs> Ivan's Island, I don't know. They said they got cold yeah. drinks, they're not serving food, but whatever, man, we'll go check it out. Yeah, that's where we're going. All right, let's do it. <laughs> With just the two of us in the dinghy and a 15 horsepower motor, it was a short trip over to the dock. We were the only people on the island as most things were put away for slow season. You got like a pool table and everything here. You're covered up because it's the slow season, but a kind of cool spot to come by, uh, play pool right here with this. Awesome. Wow, they even have some like real darts here too. Wow. I know, all right. We can actually play. Well, cheers. Cheers. Thank you. From Punch, made by Richard. Say hello. Okay. Does she notice? I well, it looks like they have some basic cabins you can rent. I wonder how much those are. It's quite rustic. Yeah, they're very rustic, so surely not very expensive. The other ones on the other side look a little better, but what is that? Is that some kind of art? See, the dock is looking in better shape. I don't want to walk down that one. They even have an overwater bungalow. <laughs> yeah, something like that. <laughs> Our eyes wander the room when it Quiet. Play some volleyball if you want. I mean, there's no net, but they got a court. There's, ball. Ah, there's several balls over there. Yeah, you can go dig those out. <laughs> All right, he's gonna let us in one of the rooms so we can take a look. How much? Uh, oh. 100 a night. Wow, all right, it's not bad. Got a little ceiling fan and all that. Cool, for 100 bucks a night, you get a little ocean view like this on the water. It's not bad. Right here overlooking the water. Not bad, the mangrove. Won't she turn around? Won't she look at me? That's not a bad view, huh? Yeah, we'll have to uh, maybe come back someday in our own little cabin right on the water. Oh, please. Won't she notice me? All right. Uh, nice little stop there. People are very friendly. Yeah. We were the only, uh, well, it was all locals just hanging out, kind of doing their own thing, but still uh, ready to give us some drinks. Now we're gonna head back to the It was getting a little, uh, I was getting bit by the sand fleas. It's like, all right, time Should to go. put on bug spray. Yeah, well, anyway, we're heading back now. Um. So it's our last uh, day on the water. Um, so uh, before noon, we will head back to Placencia Yacht Club, hang out in Placencia for the day. Got some stuff going on there. But uh, so we're gonna take our paddle boards out, which we haven't used the entire two weeks. <laughs> So, but these are the hard ones, so like they're they're a little bit more stable than the inflatable ones. Okay, that's whatever you say. All right, you ready? <laughs> Let's go do it. All right, you ready? You can scooch on and you can get on, start off on your knees. On my knees? Yeah. Okay. There you go. See, it's not so hard. <laughs> All right. All right, I'm gonna go get on mine and then we'll untire. All right, uh, paddle forward so you can untie yourself from the boat. You're gonna have to stand up for it. You got it. There you go. Oh, it's still so far away. Pull yourself closer. There you go, now untie yourself. And then try to get all your rope where you got it piled up like here. See how mine's piled on the front? There you go, now just start paddling. Stand up. You got it. <laughs> One hand on top of the paddle. There you go, and then there you go, perfect. All right, so right over here are the mangroves. We're just gonna go paddle through the mangroves. Hopefully we don't get attacked by any crocodiles. I hear there are crocodiles actually, but they're small. They're not the big ones, not the man eaters, I don't think. I gotta say, like, I've only really used the inflatable paddle boards forever. These hard ones are much faster, much more stable. Um, you know, but you gotta store them. That's the hard part. Whereas the inflatable ones are obviously inflatable. You know, one thing that, I mean, we saw the one turtle eggs and the little baby turtles. 
but I haven't seen any turtles here other than that, which is a bit surprising. You would think this would be like the perfect place for turtles. These little lagoons and stuff with all the turtle grass and everything under there would be perfect for them, but you know, and then hide the mangroves and stuff. But I don't know, I guess they've been mostly eradicated somehow. I don't know. So up here, it looks like somebody's cut a channel through here because well, you can see the channel, but then there's a pile of dirt next to it. So they cut a channel in here. Probably to, there's a, I don't know if it's a resort or a residence up there a little. So that's probably how they get into this little lagoon uh, on their boats. It's weird that they didn't finish it though. So you can see they cut the channel all the way to here. Then they stopped. They didn't go all the way out into the open ocean there. Well, bay anyway. I wonder why they did that. Uh, Maybe they're waiting on it till they're ready to open the channel up all the way or something. I don't know. It's really weird. I wish I'd got it on video, but uh, I just saw an iguana, like big one, swim through the water underneath my uh, paddleboard. It scared me a little bit at first. Like, what the freak is that? Maybe like a dinosaur coming at me. But anyway. So how was your first paddleboarding experience? We're about to collide. My legs are so weak right now. Are you all right? <laughs> yeah, I'm good. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta balance your core. But this is, I mean, honestly, I was saying earlier, this is way easier on one of these than a, a, a inflatable paddle boards are so much more unstable. Yeah, I mean, I didn't fall, so there's yeah. a, not yet. It's amazing how much trash there is here. There's just so much trash in these mangroves. They just, it gets trapped in here and you know, they can't really clean it out. It's just terrible. Plastic, that's all it is. Well, there's a big thunderstorm on the horizon there. I don't know exactly which way it's headed, so we're gonna head back just in case. We can hear the thunder from here, so. Yeah, it looks like it might be heading this way, so. Back to the boat. You slow down. You gonna make it? Yeah, I oh. made it, didn't I? I think. Man, you're not off the on the boat oh, yet. Well. Huh. You wanna hand me your line? I don't want to go Here, hand me your paddle. <laughs> hand me your... No, I got it. Get... All right, now you got to try it. <laughs> the safest way is always on all fours. Are you saying you're better on your knees? <laughs> Funny. <laughs> yeah, good job. You wanted right. me to fall. You made it. Yes, I wanted you to fall. <laughs> so as long as I got on film, it'd be great. <laughs> all right, we're getting ready to go. Three knots of breeze, so as usual, we're motoring. Is the same one from yesterday? Yeah, so that boat came in yesterday. I think they were looking for this mooring. We were already on it, so they tried to drop anchor, but it's pretty deep around here. It's like 55 feet, so they couldn't get it set. And they were coming back, so I'm assuming they were just coming here for this mooring. Now yeah, they're pushing you out. Yeah, well, I'm just being polite. We were going to leave in about 20 minutes anyway, so might as well give them the spot. <laughs> All right, not quite our last day or last sail. We'll be moving the boat back to the marina in the morning, but or to the charter base anyway. How'd you like Belize so far? It was good. It was really laid back. It was pretty. Yeah, Everyone was really friendly. Yeah, you know, I'd like to, because I've never been here in the high season. Like, every time I've always come, it's like, well, I came January, which is high season, but 21. I mean, since COVID, yeah. right? There wasn't anything here. And then the last time I was here was in, I believe, July, which is, I believe, kind of the beginning of their low season. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I'd like to come back, I don't know, January, February. Maybe I will come back in February and see it during high season. It'd be interesting to see it busy, because yeah. none of these places are very big. Yeah. So we're only going like five miles today, just across the, uh, I think they call this the Victoria Channel, um, over to uh, Placencia. So, and of course, you know, no wind. <laughs> it's so, kind of been the theme. Yeah, it's been the theme this year. No wind. I think we sailed like twice. Like realistically, we sailed twice. We put the sails up a few times just to do it, but really they didn't do much. <laughs> but motoring, whatever, it is what it is. The water's so smooth. Yeah, it's because there's no wind out here. No. The water's very glassy. All that's left is like there's some wind, some waves still rolling in from when the wind was up a little bit, but now it's nothing. It's pretty to look at. Yeah, not much for sailing though. <laughs> Literally, there's less than one knot of wind, 0.8 knots. Pulled in at the dock at the Placencia Yacht Club. Here we 
we are at the Placencia Yacht Club back in Placencia. It's pretty, I don't know, cooled off a little bit now that we're not in the sun, but it's a little warm one today. It's still pretty warm. Yeah. All right. So uh, what we're about to do right now is record a podcast. So if you're not subscribed to the Sailing Noodles podcast, it's on YouTube for visual stuff, or you can get it wherever you get your audio podcasts. Listen to it in your car. So we're going to talk about uh, her taking over as a lead on Flying Doodles and the uh, experience here in Belize. Sounds good. All right. All right. The part, the podcast has already been recorded. Uh, so now we're going to run in town, grab some lunch. Uh, check it out. The Doodles podcast, wherever you get your audio or video, well, YouTube or any audio podcast. So, did you have fun? Yeah, don't judge me for being too awkward. I don't do this stuff. <laughs> well, you're gonna have to get used to it. Well, I'm trying, yeah. but it takes a second. Yeah, I know. All right, let's head into town. Can you hold my beer? Did you start working here or what? Why didn't you? Oh, why, oh, that's right. There's a rum called that. Haha, <laughs> <thought. laughs> so funny. This looks like it'll be nice. So this place has been for sale for a long time. Ever since, like the first two times it came here, it was for sale. It looked a little run down. Somebody's like done something with it and there's like an apartment upstairs. So I don't know, maybe somebody bought it and... It's cool. They've got the spot for live music. Yeah, this would be a cool little spot. You gotta wonder, they have a ton of standing water. Like last time we came by, there was a ton of frogs, right? So I didn't see, or tadpoles rather. Mm -hmm. I didn't see those, but when those tadpoles aren't around, the mosquitoes got to be hella bad. Somebody, surely somebody sprays around here. Well, I doused myself in bug spray okay. preemptively because I have plenty of bites already. We headed to the pickled parrot, which is a favorite spot for the local expats. All right, nice little meal. Back to the boat, go chill out for a little while. And then we're doing dinner at the yacht club and meeting with some friends and stuff like that. Probably not gonna bring the camp for all that, but we'll bring it for some. Sounds good. I'm a little buzzed, a little bit. She drank some parrot piss, which oh. is like three shots of rum and pineapple. <laughs> yeah, I'm in a glass of wine before this. All right, so we're gonna go meet some friends for happy hour and then come back here to go to dinner. We'll film that part, we're gonna leave the camera behind now. But uh, we actually already dropped off, like we had so much extra booze because like... How many bottles? Well, I mean, but we'd planned this trip for four people and there's only two, so yeah. yeah. Anyway, so we had lots of extra booze. So we dropped that off at the bar for those guys, for uh, Caroline and them. But we'll be back there for dinner in just a little bit. So, see you guys in a minute. Yo, that's interesting, isn't it? That's a camera. In case you're wondering what the dog is looking at when they look at this, is there's a microphone muff above this and they want to eat it. It's called a dead cat in the business and they want they want to rip the dead cat apart. So that's why they do that. Hi right, Caroline. Hi. Good to see you again. Thanks for having Good us over you. again. Thank you so much for coming. Cheers. It was a great time. Oh yeah, it was. <laughs> so check out the Placentia Yacht Club. If you're just sailing through or doing a charter, it's first uh, great or last night. Like you're doing Definitely. that? Yeah. Because yeah. sometimes you don't get off the you don't get off the dock late early enough to like go anywhere. This is only like 45 minutes from the uh, charter base, and then of course like we're going back in the morning. That's why we're here tonight because it's only 45 minutes from charter base. So they do have a fairly limited menu here. They don't have a whole lot. Like they have like two appetizers and like, you know, three appetizers and two mains, but everything they do make is really good. Yeah, those stuffed jalapenos are honestly really freaking Yeah, we good. had stuffed jalapenos yeah. last time we were here. Now with this, the crostini, it's like bruschetta, really good. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. That's and great. then we're doing the spaghetti carbonara for dinner, mm -hmm. which I've is- I've been promised this this whole trip. It's, it's been really hyped good. up. It's so really good. It's really good. I'm ready. You are for you. One this is you. the world famous uh, pasta carbonara. <laughs> Hope you like it. Looks amazing. He really actually great. knows what he's getting. I've had it for Nothing has great. changed in the Nothing last two years. All right. All right. <laughs> so enjoy. And go well, Thank you so much. Dog. Cheers. You're welcome. Cheers. 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 Thanks, Caroline. Thank you. Really good, though. Mm -hmm. It's very good. I mean, like, 
This would compete with any Italian place I've been to for Cabanara. <laughs> Pretty good. On a dock in Placencia. Yeah, on a dock in Placencia. All right, we got to, uh, that was a fantastic dinner. Thank you so much, Caroline. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I'm so full, I don't know if I can get up. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, so check out Placencia Yacht Club. If you're down this way, you have to. Thank you so much. And uh, we're definitely going to come back here next time we're here. Awesome. See you All next right. time. All Take right, guys. care, guys. All right. It rained a lot last night, so everything's a bit wet. Like I said, this is a good spot for, you know, first or last night coming down here when you're, you know, chartering a boat here in Belize. Because uh, it's only an hour to the charter bases, which are around the corner. Well, it's less than an hour. It's about 45 minutes, but we got to stop and get fuel. So uh, it's about 7 o'clock now. Our flight's at 10. So it'll take us an hour, hour and 15 after we get gas and everything to do that. So I'm gonna head out now. Kind of a rainy day. All right, so uh, we got fuel. Now it's only about another mile over to the marina where we return the boat. So Dakota's already packed and my explosion is still, I mean, I've started, that's why it's all piled up there. Mm -hmm. But it's, yeah. Down there too. Well. I'm saying, but the, <laughs> look how much camera gear I got to carry with me. That's the thing. And that's not even all of it. There's more. All right, let's go. It's a pretty tight little squeeze getting in and out of here. Uh, I'm showing one, one and a half feet below the keel, but I think this thing's offset a little more because we were at one place we were at anchor and it was showing less than a foot below us and we had like maybe two and a half. So I think it's off by about a foot and a half. So when it's, there's been a couple times on the channel it has red zero, it's just soft mud, but it's red zero, so I think there's been at least another foot and a half below it. But, you know, that's the only way in and out of this place. They've got the little X's on the chart where you're supposed to stay, you know, keep on the center line of that, and we have been, but it still gets pretty shallow. Yeah, I mean, you know, we got a 40 foot cat here right now. You could probably fit a 50 through here, but yeah, you know, that big Lagoon 70 that's sitting on the dock at Placentia Yacht Club, I don't think that could fit through here. Yeah, it's definitely low season because like all the boats are, I think we saw one other charter boat out and uh, they were actually on the same flight as us coming in. So, but like all the other boats are in, nobody's out charter right now. It's just, you know, it's rainy. Yeah, I think this is the first time I've been cold that we've been. Here. I know, I had to put a shirt on this morning, <laughs> I was freezing. I mean, it's still probably like 78 degrees out here, but in the wind it feels yeah. chilly, especially if a little bit of water splashes on you. I see the depth is showing like less than half a foot at times. Uh, I've seen it read zero through here. So I think I got at least another foot, foot and a half, so 0 0.2, 0 0.2 feet right now. Anyway, plus it's just all soft mud. I don't I don't think I'd take anything. I don't think I'd, I'd bring a monohull mono through here for sure. Um, and, you know, this thing probably draws four or four and a half feet. You know, you get a monohull that's drawing six and a half feet. Yeah, you might be having some issues getting through here. Ready? Ready. All right, we're out of here, heading to the airport. Thank you guys. This side, guys. This side, okay. After sailing around Belize for two weeks, it was time to head home. Thank you so much to our patrons for making this channel possible. They get early access to the videos as well as access to our live tracker.